Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR net UGC. Today we will discuss about the PY questions on the partial differential equation. We cover all those questions related to the partial differential equation from the year December 2011 to December 2023. Myself Dr. Gar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, or else you can simply scan and join my WhatsApp group for the discussion part. What you will be found on my YouTube channel, you can see here, this is the playlist CSIR, UGC, NET, GATE and IIT Jam, where you can find the PY questions of 11 to 23 related to the differential equations, related to the integral equations, calculus of variations, Eigen's value, as well as many more are there. You can also see some of the statistics, previous year questions related to this CSIR NET examination. So what we will see in this lecture is we will try to explain all those questions with the help of the shortcut tricks as we explained in our previous videos. So I will tell you the many shortcut tricks in this video you can watch till the end so that you can learn it deeply. I will try to explain the 50 plus questions in this part one while the next video which is related to the June 2011 to June 2023 of the PDE questions in our next part. So let's start with this video. The first question is related to the 2012, which is of the part C. So you have the more than one correct options. So what is the shortcut tricks for you? So remember, uh, the one method you can try to solve these equations like of this, you can like write like this way. But I will tell you the very simple shortcut tricks for you. Whatever the options are there, look at that this option, you can put them as a zero, you will find the value of the x always. So x is my 2t. Whenever you find this, you can substitute this value as a t here. So this is my 2 scale. You can substitute t as my 2, coefficient of x is my 1, x is my 1 and check whether it is satisfied or not. 2 scale is a 4, x scale 4 into 1 is 4, so that's satisfied. Similarly for here, if you substitute this, it will give you as a minus of. So this is the value of the t, one coefficient of the x is 1. So minus of 2 whole scale again a 4 and this, so this is the right answer. If you look about this, you have to find the value of this. So it is a plus minus of 2t. So there's a plus minus of 2t same r here. When you look about this option, it will give you a plus minus of 2 iota. So it means I can substitute the value of the x as a 1, t as of plus of 2 iota and minus of 2 iota. When I substitute plus of 2 iota here, so it will give you a minus 4. But right hand side is x is 1, which is not equal. So this option is cancelled out. Look at this one, when you substitute this as a 0, so, or you can say x is equal to 2t, so I can substitute t as a 2 and y as uh, this as, so it's satisfied. For here, this is minus of 2t, again it's satisfied, 4 is equal to 4, this option is the correct one. For here, you can see x is equal to this, so I now this is a 1, I can substitute t as a 1, x as a 2, so this value is my 1 and this is my 4 times 4, which is not equal. So the right answer is my A and C are my correct options. Look at this one. Again, we will apply the same shortcut tricks here. So you can put Y plus X is equal to 0. So Y is equal to minus X. I can put X coefficient is minus 1. Y as a plus 1 here. So this is my plus 1, 1 square, minus 1 square, plus 2, 1, minus 1, plus 1 of square. So it is 1 minus 2 plus 1 is 0. That's satisfied. It means this also satisfied. We can check about y minus x. It is y is equal to x. Means x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. So 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 1, which is not satisfied. So y minus x option are cancelled out. Now out of this option, look at that. You have to find the particular integral. But there is no need to find the particular integral. But if the shortcut to x is, look at that. Uh, look at that. Uh, my particular integral, that is the right hand side is here. So it means the particular integral should be of this form. So it means it must contain x as well as e raised to power x plus 1. But here there is no x involved. So this option is cancelled out. Right answer is there. You can see x into e raised to power x plus 1 involved. So the right answer is only b is my correct answer. Look at this one. Again we will see about the, again the shortcut tricks. So this is my x minus theta and t. So the coefficient is 1. This is 1. So we can substitute here 1 square minus 1 square, that's a 0, so it's satisfied, it's a correct statement, but we need a false statement. We can check here 3 and 9, so if I substitute here 3 square, and here is 
9 square so it is not 0 it means this is my false statement since only the one correct option so this is the right answer you may check also this this is the 3 square and minus of 3 square it's a 0 is equal to 0 satisfied this is the correct state so right answer is only my c is my correct answer again you can think about here which of the following option is this so this v of 0 is 1 firstly check whether uh, v uh, here okay so we can see what is the coefficient of the x this is my coefficient of the x what is the coefficient of the t if you multiply them minus here so we can check about here so left hand side is my minus of this what is the right hand side is a cube if i take as a cube what will happen if i take as a cube what will happen this is iota cube omega cube they are not same iota cube is minus here is omega square it is omega 4 so it means this is option is not correct look about this one this option is also cancel out because we need a e raised power iota omega x but it is omega cube this option cancel out we can check about here this is this is my if i look about this x coefficient is here and t coefficient is my iota omega cube so if i substitute here it is iota cube omega cube it is iota omega this is not true because this is minus iota omega cube this option is also cancel out if we look about here x is my iota omega t is my minus omega square if i substitute here what is a cube it's a iota cube but it is not be there and all the options are cancelled out we have to check about this again option x is my minus this this is my x y is my minus iota cube so what is that it is is it possible i think it will be it must be the omega square it must be the omega square then it is the right answer of this so you can substitute here so it will be minus iota omega cube so if it is omega cube and then it is a iota omega cube out there. so then it is a right answer otherwise none of this is a right answer if it is omega cube then none of this is a right answer but if it is omega square then it is the right answer of this problem okay now what is that if i write in this form this is a p q is equal to one whenever a partial differential equation is of independent of x and y this is independent of x and y then always the solution is ax plus by plus c remember whenever it is independent of x and y the solution will be here now it passes through 0 0 0 it means c is my 0 so the solution will be ax plus by what is the a and b where a and b is satisfied here that is ab is equal to 1 so i can substitute here b as my 1 by a now your target is to find the value of 0 comma 1 so what is the value of the x is 0 y is 1 so basically i need to find the value of a how you find the value of a we can take the partial derivative with respect to a and 0 so this is x 1 by a square is 0 so a square is my y over x so what is that you add the point 0 comma 1 what is the value of this 1 by 0 so a will be infinity so what is the value of this 1 over infinity is my 0 is the right answer again now you can see i can return this as a p this as a q this is x y which is not independent of x and y so i can take the pair of this and i can return as this so say this is alpha then you can find the solution as this is u this is my p dx plus q dy so i can find the value of p that is alpha x q is my y over alpha now you can integrate them it is alpha x square by 2 integrate y plus of the constant now it passes through 0 0 1 what is the meaning of that y is 1 x is 0 y is 0 so b is equal to 1 it passes through 0 1 and half so what is that u is half x is 0 y is this b is my 1 so what is that this is nothing but my minus half is half alpha so alpha is my minus 1 now you need to find the value at so what is the value of the u alpha is minus 1 so it is minus x square by 2 plus again it is minus plus 1 so add the value of minus 1 it is plus 1 here so it is cancel out so answer will be 1 is the right answer of this problem 
sorry uh, it is minus half it is minus half so minus half minus half 1 1 plus 1 is a 0 so 0 is the right answer of this problem now this is another kind of the problem always this is the very simple shortcut tricks i will tell you now look at that i first what is the tips for you whenever the differential equation of this form either this either this or either of this the major point is the coefficient of them the coefficient of them are my constants the coefficient are my constant and the initial condition is given either in the form of the sin x either in the form of the cos x or in the form of the exponential whenever these conditions are satisfied look at that then we can start the solution of this as sin whatever the initial condition given to you into function of the parameter t although we all know this is the heat equation then you have to remember the very long formula but there is no need what is the shortcut tip for you whenever this condition is satisfied then we can start from here now i can substitute this value in here what is that phi dash phi is the function of t or remember this which is if you take the second derivative first derivative will be phi cos second derivative will be pi square of sine of this so you can see sine will be cancel out pi dash is minus of this fine so what is the solution of this so phi if you integrate them it will be minus pi square of t oh, oh sorry this is also phi this is also phi if you uh, if, sorry so then it will pi will be cancel out so phi dash over phi is minus pi square so what is the solution if you integrate them it will be log it will be phi is e raised to power that's the answer that's over now i can substitute this value here u is my sine pi x e raised to power minus that is a very very simple shortcut tip for you now you need to find x and 1 by pi square so what will happen at 1 over pi square it is e raised to power minus 1 is the right answer we will solve many questions by using these tips again you can see the coefficients are my constant the solution is in this form so my solution will be phi of t cos pi x by 2 fine i can substitute what is the second derivative phi double dash cos pi x by 2 what is the second derivative of this first derivative will be pi by 2 sine second derivative will be pi square by 4 cos so phi minus pi square by 4 cos pi x by 2 so cos pi x by 2 cancel out so what is that this is phi square plus of 4 now you can see this is m square plus pi square by 4 is 0 so what is that this phi is my c1 cos pi by 2t plus c2 sine pi by 2t that's a very simple solution about that now what will happen on this now you can substitute this values p so uh, you can see that the partial derivative with respect to t at 0 when you take the partial so solution will be c cos pi by 2 plus c2 sin here of cos pi by 2x now clearly see that when you take the partial derivative with respect to t at the point t is equal to 0 what will happen this becomes a cos so this value will be 0 c2 will be 0 so the solution will be cos pi by 2t and cos pi by 2x now you can substitute the answer 2 comma 2 there is a cos pi cos pi is my minus 1 cos pi is minus 1 so plus 1 so this option cancel this is the right answer 1 by 2 cos pi by 4 root 2 cos pi by 4 1 by root 2 so 1 by 2 is the right answer this option is cancel so they always remember this is a very simple shortcut text for you always okay so next one is which of the fall is a bounded solution what is the meaning of the bounded is when you take x as infinity u is less than of infinity but clearly say that this is unbounded so this option is cancel out fine now rest of the option is very simple you can take here what is the first derivative is here second derivative with respect to x 0 so it's satisfied so see only one correct option is there so this is the right answer otherwise you can see here uh, if you take the first derivative it will be e raised to power minus x of this what is the second derivative of this 
is my here plus e raised to power minus e clearly say that they are not equal so similarly for this is not so a is the right answer okay now third kind is always here so remember whenever there is a parabolic hyperbolic and elliptical are there whenever you have to find b square minus 4ac then it is a parabolic when it is less than 0 we call as the elliptic when it is greater than 0 we call as the hyperbolic so let's start with here so what is that a u x x b u x y c u y y you have to compare them so this is my a 1 this is my b this is my c so b square minus 4 a c sigma of y so what is that if you open them it's a 4 sigma of y what is the meaning of this it means whenever y is greater than 0 it is a positive whenever y is equal to 0 it's a 0 whenever y is less than 0 so it's a negative so it's a minus 4 now we can check the option parabolic parabolic means e equality that's a equal to so parabolic when y is greater than so the first option is cancel out hyperbolic when y is equal to greater when y is greater than 0 it is a positive sign so when it's a positive it's a hyperbolic this option is correct elliptical when y is equal to less than 0 it's a negative so it is option is also correct now look at the uh, this option so what is the b square minus 4 ac here so that is minus 4 x y now how you can solve it first second and third quadrant in the first quadrant both are my positive so when both are positive this value is my less than zero so that means elliptical in the first quadrant it's elliptical first quadrant is hyperbolic this option is cancel out third quadrant both are my negative so when both are negative again it is a negative so it is a elliptical that's option is satisfied Second option B, that is x is negative, y is positive. So this value will be my greater than 0. That is my hyperbolic. That's satisfied. In this case, x is positive, y is negative, again hyperbolic. So the right answer is my B and C. Look about the next one. Now again, uh, this is again a very simple question. You can see the coefficient of the x is my iota omega. Coefficient of the t is my iota omega. You can substitute here. This is iota square, omega square, iota square, omega square. The first option is satisfied. This is iota, this is minus, but due to the square, this is no problem. This is satisfied. You can see this is a linear combination of them. You can see this is a linear combination, this is satisfied. You can see here, but this, this does not satisfy here. When, what will happen of the x0? It is x square by 2, which is not equal to e raised to power. Uh, so this option is cancelled. A, B and C are my correct options. Second method is instead of that you can also start with this option. I can start with the phi of t because the coefficients are constant and this is exponential. So I can substitute here. Second derivative will be my here. This. What is the first? This is second derivative is my here. So e raised to power iota omega x cancel out. Phi double dash. This is minus plus of this. So what is the phi of this? So m square is minus of omega square. So m is plus minus here. So the solution will be c1 iota omega t or c2 minus iota omega t. So if you multiply this by here, you can see if I multiply this by of this, the first pair is my here, second pair is my this. And if you take c1 and c2 as half, then this will be here. So that's the second method you can solve like of earlier described method. Okay, now again you can see the solution will be pq is 1 which is independent of x and y. So the solution will be ax plus by plus c. But if you look about the options, they are not talking about the solution. What is that? They are talking about x0, y0, z0, p0 q0 so what is the x0 s the first pair is s y 1 by s z 1 p and q we need to calculate so firstly we check all the options are satisfied what is the condition of the p q p q is 1 so we can see look at that this is p q product is not 1 this is p q product is not 1 the product is 1 that's the right answer this is product is 1 that's the right answer so the first and the second a and B are my correct options of this problem. No need to solve them. Just look at the options and try to find the solution. 
okay again ellipticals we will check about that b square minus 4 a c clearly say that it is my plus okay so it's a plus it's a greater than zero it is my hyperbolic so this option is there again you have to find the solution how you can do i can take this as a zero so y is equal to x by 2 i can substitute here as x is half and y is equal to 1 so what will happen this is 8 1 by 4 this is x into y so half 1 1 square so what is that this is 2 minus 1 minus 3 which is non-zero so this option is cancel out look about this one y is equal to minus x by 2 so i can substitute x is minus 1 half y is 1 so what will happen here this is 8 1 by 4 minus 2 minus x and 3 of 1 so it is 2 this is plus 1 minus 3 that satisfied look about this option y is equal to 3x by 4 so i can substitute x is 3 by 4 y is 1 so 8 9 by 16 3 by 4 minus 3 of 1 so it is 2 so 9 by 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 so it is 6 by 2 3 minus 3 0 this also satisfied right answer is b and remember there is no need to solve the problem just look at the options and try to simplify these shortcut methods okay again the these are cons constants so you can write u as phi of phi of t and sine of pi x fine you can substitute here phi dash sine of pi x second derivative of this first one was cos second is my minus sine so it is my minus phi sine of pi x so sine will be cancelled out phi dash minus phi will be zero so what is that it is so m minus 1 is 0 so m is equal to 1 so phi is my c constant e raised to power 1 of t now look at the options it is always negative cancel out because e raised to power t is always positive it is always positive increasing or decreasing you can take that derivative you can see it is always be greater than 0 it's always increasing it is cancel out so right answers are b and c again we are using the simple shortcut trick for that now again this initial solution is given to you but you can see what i tell you this solution must be in the form of sine cosine or the exponential but here this is a polynomial so we can't use this trick we can't use this one so how you can solve this problem that's a very simple again there is no problem look at that what is given to you this is the wave equation fine so we all know what is the wave equation is the solution of the wave equation is x plus ct x minus ct plus 1 over 2c and g of xt this is x minus ct x plus ct what is the f and g this is f this is g what is the c if you compare them u of tt is equal to u x x c is my one so i can substitute here this is pi pi so this is f of 2 pi this is f of 0 because c is 1 x is this 1 over 2 this is integration of sine x minus 0 this is my 2 pi what is the f is x cube so this is 8 pi cube plus 0 what is the integration of the co sine it's a cos x over the 0 to 2 pi cos 2 pi is 1 cos 0 1 this is a cancel out this is my 4 pi cube is the right answer of this problem okay now this is here let u be the solution of uh, this partial differential equations and u vanishes on the boundary of the disk what is the boundary according to this statement this is my boundary fine now u vanishes on this it means the u must be of this form so k is my constant our target is to firstly find the value of k that's over so since u is the solution of this i can substitute here what is the u x x so 2k that's a 2k u y y is my 2k i can substitute here 4 cos k square 4 k square is 64 fine so what will happen 8 k square is 64 k square is my 8 fine u x x 2 x 2k this is 
टू अगेन यू टू के इफ यू सब्सिट नहीं सॉरी सॉरी इट्स नॉट ए स्केयर यू एक्स एक्स इज इट्स सेल्फ सो टू के प्लस टू के इज सिक्सटी फोर फोर के इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर के इज इक्वल टू सो वट इज द माई सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन विल बी सिक्सटीन हेयर फाइन नाउ यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू वट इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस वन बाई सिक्सटीन वन बाई टू माइनस वन सो सिक्सटीन इट इज अ सिक्सटीन इज एल सेम वन प्लस एट माइनस सिक्सटीन सो इट्स अ नाइन नाइन माइनस सिक्सटीन माइनस सेवन इज द राइट आंसर जस्ट लुक अबाउट दी वर्डिंग आर दियर इट वेनिश इज ऑन द बाउंड्री इट मीन दिस मस्ट बी द रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी इज यू हैव टू फाइंड द जनरल सोल्यूशन विच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दी फैमिली सो वट इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस रिमेंबर वेन एवर देर इज अ परपेंडिकुलर यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस वन नाउ हेयर वट इज द एफ यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द के फ्रॉम हेयर दिस इज माई के विच इज कॉल एज द एफ नाउ यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू हेयर वट इज द पार्शियल डेर विडी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो माइनस एक्स के हेयर वट इज द पार्शियल डेर विडी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स दिस इज वाई एंड माइनस This is minus minus plus. This is minus minus plus. So partial derivative with respect to z minus 2z over x y. The first option is always x and y. So I have to solve these two options. So z square will be cancelled out. One y will be cancelled out. One x will be cancelled out. So it is x dy. It is y dx. If you integrate them, minus y square by 2 is equal to constant. So x square minus y square. This option is cancelled out. Next option is x and z. X and z. So I can take this and this. So what is the answer? Is if I take z will be cancel out. One y will be cancel out. One x will be cancel out. One z will be cancel out. So this x will be upside. X this this will be my z over minus of this. Fine. So what is the solution? X square by two plus z square by four is constant. So what is that? 2x square plus z square, 2x square plus z square. Rest option are cancel. Now look about this one. Which of the following is a hyperbolic? What is the meaning of that? 4bac greater than zero. So what is a 4bac? So it is minus 4xy. Okay. Second quadrant. X is my negative, y is my positive. So that if you product them, it is a greater than zero. Fourth quadrant. X is my positive, Y is negative. Again, it is a greater than zero is the right answer. First quadrant, both are my positive. When both are positive, this is less than zero, so it is not a hyperbolic. First one is also cancel out. Look at the third one. X is negative, Y is positive, and this is then it will be less than zero, which is not the right answer. Is my A is the right answer. Okay, look at this twenty thirteen. So A, B, C are the continuous functions. V1 are the non-empty sets such that union is R square. V1 is elliptical. What is the elliptical? Is B square minus 4ac is greater than zero. V2 is my parabolic. V3 is my hyperbolic. Then which of the following are the open set? That I think there is no need to solve the problem. What are the open set? This is open set. This is not open set. This is open set because equality is not be there. So V1 and V3 are the Open set V1 and the V3 are the open set. V2 is not the open. V2 is not the open. It is not the open. So right answer is my B. Again, this is a hyperbolic and parabolic. So we can start with a B square minus 4A square. So hyperbolic when it will be uh, it all are the less than sign. So when it will be less than sign B square is less than 4AC. When will happen it less than sign? Elliptic. So that means mod of b is less than of here. This is my elliptic because equality will be there. Whenever equality will be there, then we call as the parabolic. But it is less than also less than is elliptical. Equality is parabolic. So it is the right answer of this because only one correct option in the step. Look at the next one option. Again, which is hyperbolic and parabolic, so we can find again b square minus 4ac. So what is that? This is minus 4a. This again the repetition of this. So what is the hyperbolic second and the fourth quadrant are there? So hyperbolic, 
when x is positive x is my positive y is negative so it becomes my positive hyperbolic we need a greater than zero this option is cancel out elliptical when x is my positive y is my negative so it becomes my positive so that is a uh, cancel out hyperbolic when both are positive when both are positive it is my negative it is a elliptic here when x is negative y is positive so the product will be positive it is my greater than zero so which option is wrong all are wrong my option i can check it first one again when x is positive this is positive x is negative so it will be my positive so it is a greater than zero it's a hyperbolic sorry that's the first option is the right one this is the right option i again repeat them what is the meaning of that x positive so x is my positive y is negative and this is so what is the sign of this it's a positive sign it's a greater than zero okay the char pit equations please so uh, uh, how you can solve that we all knows what is the shortcut tricks for that this is du and so on how you write this equation du this is nothing but my p dx plus q dy so dx is here dy is this if i multiply this by p if i multiply this by p multiply this by q and add them which must be the same of this if i multiply this by p and second number by q minus 1 minus q p square clearly say that when you multiply is a p raised to power 4 but there is no p raised to power 4 if i multiply this by p is a 2p square by 4 if i multiply this by q it's a 2q square this option is the right option if i multiply this by p is a pq but it's a zero cancel out 2pq it's x plus y this option is cancel out right answer is only b a very simple shortcut takes again for you now now the another tricks for the whenever the differential whenever the partial differential equation is there and your target is to identify whether it's a unique solution no solution infinite many solution what is the shortcut tricks for you you have to compare this equation by here there's a p of this q of this and r whenever the differential equation is of this form then you can write the equation like of this divided by x dash y dash and it is in terms of u whenever they are not equal then we call as the unique solution whenever they are equal and the, the second not equal then we call as the no solution whenever all are equal then we call as the infinite solution now you can see this is x over what is x over this is y over this is 2u over fine now if i call as x dash this is y dash this is u dash so look at the first option so x i can consider as a t what is the value of the y g is my one so it is x into one that is x here and u is my fx so that is my 2t so if i substitute here x is my t divided by derivative t over 1 this is my 4t divided by their derivative so you can see they are equal but they are not equal so what is the meaning of that it is a no solution so the first option is correct one similarly look at the second option x is my t y is equal to g is my 1 so it is again my t so uh, u is equal to 2 of t square so how you can solve that it is t over 1 this is t over 1 and it is 2 of u that is my 4 t square divided by their derivative 4 of t so you can see all are same when all are same then we call as the infinite many solution this option is also correct look at the third option x is equal to t y is equal to x into g that is a t square and u is equal to t cube so t over 1 t square over 2t and this is 2 over 3 t square so it is 1 it is t over 2 this is not equal so it means a unique solution that's also the correct option look at the option d x is equal to t y is equal to t square and u is equal to t raised to power 4 again you can see both are this over 1 this is t square over 2t which are not same again it gives you a unique solution so all the options are my correct answers okay now again we can start with this solution as say phi of u0 so we can substitute here phi is a function of the t remember phi is a function of the 
t so what is that this is phi dash u 0 phi this is the value of the u partial derivative phi of u 0 dash is 0 so what is the meaning of that phi square u dash will u u 0 will be cancelled out so phi dash plus phi square u 0 dash is 0 so what is that phi dash over phi square is minus u 0 dash so now i can integrate this with respect to the t because phi is a function of the t so it is minus 1 over phi it is minus u 0 dash over t okay or you can take as a constant that's no problem so what will happen you can find the value of the t from here so t will be 1 over phi u 0 dash fine now what is that you need the value as a greater than or equal to 0 when it will be greater than or equal to 0 when when u dash is non zero so you can see for all x when you take u as this what is the derivative of this so it will be minus 2x 1 plus x square so for all x when i take x is equal to 0 it value is my 0 so it becomes not satisfied so we need a solution which that's that's satisfied even it's a zero but we need a derivative to be a non-zero so that this value of phi will be here so this option is cancelled this value if you take them it's a one so remember u is a function of the x but we need a phi is a function of the t only so it means when this phi if i take the value of the phi from here this value is my here when it will be the function of the t only when this u0 dash is independent of x so when it will be independent of x when u0 dash will be my constant so when check whether the it's it is not a constant so the first option cancel the derivative of this is my 1 which is a constant right answer derivative of this is a 2x which then phi is not independent of the uh, x so this option is cancel independent of here so right answer is my b and d are my correct options okay now the Cauchy problem again the question is the unique solution so we again apply this one so this is my p y over x dash q is my minus x and this is my 0 over solution u dash now look at the first option x is my greater than 0 i can take x is my here y is not be given so i consider as y is any of the function y so substitute here y is my phi x dash 1 minus over so clearly say that they are not equal so it means it give you a unique solution so that's the right answer since this is a part c so it may have more than one correct option look at the second option when x is equal to my t what is the y y is my 1 minus t square so i substitute here y 1 minus of t square x derivative 1 x over y dash so what is the derivative of this 1 by 2 1 minus t square minus of 2t so clearly say that this will be cancelled out t will be cancelled out minus will be cancelled out it is 1 minus so both are same so, but we need a unique solution. It must be not equal to 0. So, it is cancelled out. C option. When I take x is equal to t, y is equal to 1 minus of t. So, substitute here. So, 1 minus t over x derivative minus y minus x minus of t divided by here. So, clearly say that they are not equal because it is my t but it is 1 minus t. They are here. For this case, x is my t, y is equal to t square. So, substitute here t square over 1 x is my t derivative is my so again they are not equal this is also the right answer so a c and d are my correct answers of this problem okay now look at the initial again they are talking about the one solution infinite many solution so again we will see this is my p so what is that this is u over x dash coefficient of this is my 1 1 over y dash and right hand side is 1 over u dash solution is given to you so what is that x is my t square by 4 t is my again t here and u is my here so i can substitute here so u x dash 
this 1 over y dash this is my y okay i call it this as a y so this is my 1 what is that e dash is 1 over 2 so it is same but they are not same it means no solution so it is only one solution cancel out infinite many solution cancel out now you have to check whether they are the two solutions or none of them so how you can solve them for that we have to solve the problem how you can solve this problem that's again you can use the lagrange method dx over u dy or dt sorry over 1 and the right hand side is over 1 so that's very simple now you can you can x and u if you integrate them so it is x minus u square by 2 is equal to c1 if i use this it is t minus u is equal to c these are my two solutions fine so how you can write that i can write in terms of the uh, one function u square by 2 is phi of t minus u now i can use this condition x is my t square by 4 this is x square sorry x x is t square by 4 u is my t square by 4 this is 8 phi t is my t minus of this so what is that this is t square by 8 phi of so how i can write this if i write phi of a how i can write this is a square by 2 fine so therefore this value is nothing but my t minus u square by 2 fine clear now you can simplify this how you can simplify that i can open this bracket x minus u square by 2 a square plus b square minus of uh, 2 i can take the lcm as here now it is a quadratic in t or quadratic in u so i can return as a u square minus u t u square i can uh, this is a square plus b square minus of 2 ab so i can take as a lcm 2 it will be cancelled out so what is that it is u square so 2 u square 2 ut plus t square minus of 2 x is equal to 0 so what is the solution solution will be minus of u uh, b plus minus over 2 this is 4 x minus of t square this is my solution fine now clearly say that this is independent of constant so it means the one solution is given to you corresponding to the plus sign second is on the minus sign so this is the two solution will be given as a u solution none of which is differentiable on the characteristics base curve what is the characteristics base curve this is the base curve this is the characteristics base curve now what is that is differentiable if i take the partial differentiable with respect to x it is a zero it will be one by two 4x minus t square of 4 fine now clearly say that when i take x is my t square by 4 and t is my t what is that it goes to the infinity so it means the solution is not differentiable so none of the solution is differentiable is also the right answer so the b and d are my correct answers okay now look at again the unique solutions are there so we can write this as y over x dash this is minus x over y dash 0 over z dash. so what is that this is i can substitute here but here you can see z 1 so it will comes my 0 by 0 which is undefined so once this is undefined then you can you can never be solved by of this method because this is undefined otherwise you can substitute y is my sign and x dash it is my minus sign x is my cos this is cos and you can see this is minus 1 1 both are same but this is undefined so you can't say by here is a unique node there so then how you can solve that again it's a very simple you can solve i can write this value as a y p is x q so i can return as of this form this is a alpha so i can return this as solution is p dx q dy so what is that p i can return as alpha x dx y dy now you can integrate them u is alpha by 2 x square plus y square plus of b now it passes through this point we can find the solution u or oh sorry u here is in terms of the z so this is z 
सो नाउ जेड इज माई वन एल्फा बाई टू दिस इज को स्केयर प्लस साइंस स्केयर दिस इज वन प्लस बी सो वन इज एल्फा बाई टू प्लस बी सो आई कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द एल्फा बाई टू इज वन माइनस बी आई कैन सब्सटीट्यूट हेयर सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट अगेन हाउ बट यू कैन सी बी हैज इन्फानेटली मैनी वैल्यूज सो इट मीन्स जेड ऑल्सो हैज इन्फानेटली मैनी सोल्यूशन आर सो द राइट आंसर इज हेयर यूनिक सोल्यूशन कैंसल नो सोल्यूशन कैंसल फाइनेट नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन कैंसल बिकॉज बी इज आर्बिट्री कॉन्स्टेंट विच हैज इन्फानेट मैनी वैल्यूज ओके अगेन द जनरल सोल्यूशन इज गिवन टू यू दैट्स अगेन अ वेरी सिंपल यू कैन सिंपली राइट डी एक्स ओवर एक्स दिज अ फर्स्ट मैथड डी वाई ओवर वाई डी जेड ओवर जीरो सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन सी जेड इज कल्ड कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन इंटीग्रेट दैम दिस इज लॉग ऑफ एक्स लॉग ऑफ वाई प्लस लॉग ऑफ सी सो वट इज दैट दिस इज मोड एक्स यू कैन सी मोड एक्स दिस इज माई सी टू वन सोल्यूशन इज दिस सेकेंड सोल्यूशन इज दिस आई कैन रिटर्न दिस फंक्शन एज ऑफ हेयर सो द फर्स्ट आंसर इज करेक्ट ओनली वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज दिस सेकेंड मैथड आई कैन रिटर्न दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द पी वाई ऑफ क्यू सो आई कैन रिटर्न दिस एज एक्स पी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वाई क्यू आई कैन से दिस इज एल्फा सो आई कैन रिटर्न एज पी डी एक्स क्यू डी वाई सो पी इट इज माई एल्फा ओवर एक्स क्यू इज माई माइनस एल्फा ओवर वाई ऑफ डी वाई नाउ यू कैन इंटीग्रेट दैम इट इज एल्फा लॉग ऑफ मोड एक्स माइनस एल्फा लॉग ऑफ मोड वाई सो क्लियरली से दैट वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस दिस इज लॉग ऑफ मोड एक्स ओवर सो वट इज द लॉग इज अ फंक्शन सो आई कैन से दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ मोड एक्स ओवर मोड वाई अगेन दिस इज द राइट आंसर ऑफ द प्रॉब ओके अगेन दिस इज वेरी सिंपल आई कैन रिटर्न इन दिस फॉर्म पी एक्स क्यू वाई प्लस पी क्यू वट इज दैट This is nothing but my clearest form. The solution is a x b y a b. So what is that? This option is cancelled. This is here. Now there are the two arbitrary constants, and we have to find the uh, solution passing through here. So that that's again a simple task. What you can do? You can find the partial derivative zero. You can find the partial derivative with respect to arbitrary constant. So a what is that this is how you can take the derivative this is a oh, there, there is firstly uh, what uh, first we can make it simplify we can pass through this solution x is 0 this is y square this is 0 this is by ab so what is that this is y square minus by minus ab is 0 which is quadratic in y fine now how you can solve that with that means discriminant must be zero so once you take that discriminant b square minus 4 here so it means b square plus 4ab is equal to zero or b is equal to minus 4a i can substitute b is equal to minus 4a here so the solution will be ax minus b b is my minus 4ay minus 4a square fine now that's over that's a very simple now you can take the partial derivative there is no need to solve it completely but we will try to find the solution b minus 8a so a will be x minus 4y so now you can see it's a negative sign if i take 4 as inside so x by 4 minus y x by 4 minus y is of this form which is the right answer of this problem okay now This is the particular integral. How you can find the particular of this? This is d square minus d dash. Fine. How you can solve it? It's a polynomial. I can take d square as a common over this minus one. So since it is of the degree one, so we can expand them of over the one time over this. So now what will happen? You can integrate it. One over d square. So 2y minus x square. What is that d dash? Is my 2 and 2 over d square. What is that? 2 times integration with respect to x. So first time is 2x. Then second time is x square. This is the solution corresponding to this part. 
now this is with respect to x you can integrate this two times with respect to x first time integration x second time is here so the right answer is y x square now substitute here 3 into 4 is the right answer okay now again this is p this is my sorry this is my q this is p square which is independent of x and y so the solution will be ax by plus c so it passes through here so i can sub and what is the a so b plus a square is 1 so i can find the value of the b from here 1 minus a square fine now you can substitute this value so this is my x square sorry minus x square ax y is my 0 so plus c now i can substitute this value ax plus c as a z square so minus of this how you find the value of the a we can take the partial derivative 0 so minus 2a y 0 it means a 0 i can substitute a 0 here the solution will be minus x square plus y fine now sorry this is in the terms of the t so we can return this as a t now this is my solution now you can see how you can write that so this is x this is my this is u this is my t now you can see u t exists for all the x so first option if i take x is infinity u goes to the infinity because for all x so does not exist cancel out for some t which is greater than 0 for some t which is greater than 0 if i consider this as a infinity which is greater than 0 satisfied so what will happen u will goes to the infinity so that option is satisfied next option is for all x is in r if i take x is my 0 and t is less than of the 1 by 4 so what is the t less than if i consider 1 by 7 so what will happen of the u u is 1 by 7 which is a greater than 0 but they are talking less than 0 cancel out for some x in r if i take x is 0 and 1 by 7 lies here it is a positive so it is satisfied so the b and d are my correct options okay now look at this one so again look at that our target is to find the value at 1 comma t when you take t as a 0 positive it is look like say 0 positive fine that means this initial condition here at the point x is equal to 1 but here you can see the point x is equal to 1 is discontinuous fine because limit 1 minus is will be 1 and 1 plus will be 0 whenever there is a discontinuous function we always takes the average value that's a simple shortcut tricks for you what is the average of this 1 upper is 0 so 1 by 2 so that is a half is the right answer of this problem okay now look at this particular integral we can write this as d square plus 2 t, this of x i can return this number as of here so how you can solve i can take d square as outside of minus of 2 because this is a linear so if you take them quadratic so what will happen of this 1 minus of this so when you take the derivative with respect to y it will be the 0 so it is my x of this now you can take that two times integration with respect to x so the first time is x square by 2 second time will be x cube by 6 fine now you can see only one which is linear in x and y but the answer is x cube by 6 cancel out quadratic in x and y this also cancel out this is the first method now it has one or more than one instead of the d i can also take as a d dash common so it will be my of this form fine so what will happen of this case so if i take x it will be the derivative is my derivative with respect to x is 1 so it is my 2 over so what is the integration of this 2y now you can integrate this with respect to uh, y two times so what is the y square by 2 and it is my two times of this so firstly y square by 2 it is y cube over 3 
so it is quadratic linear not be there so one solution is here one solution is here so it has more than one particular solution this is the right answer of the problem okay now look at this option so again this is a very simple task you can easily solve this problem how you can solve again i can return dx over x minus y dy over y minus x minus u and du over u fine now if you clearly look about that if you clearly look if i add them this is a zero so what is the meaning of that x plus y plus u is equal to one constant fine now i can substitute y this is x plus u i can substitute here so x plus u is my c minus u i can substitute here so what will happen of this x minus x plus y c minus y c minus y so it is of this fine now how you can do that i can integrate them this is log 2y minus c this is log of cu i can take this so 2y minus c1 this is my c2 this is my c2 of u square fine now i can return this c2 as fine how you can do that i can return c2 as a linear uh, function of this so that means what is the meaning of that i can return this as 2y minus c1 over u square and c1 is x plus y plus u i can return 2y minus c1 from here c1 i can substitute this number will be my x i can substitute c1 here x plus y plus z so it is my y so it is my y minus x minus of u now we can substitute the initial condition u 1 y 0 so what will happen of this y is 0 this is x so x minus 1 over 1 what is that this is x plus 1 so what is the meaning of that phi of x plus 1 is minus times x plus 1 or you can say phi of a is minus of a fine so i can return this number as minus now you can check your options now you can check your option which one is there so firstly x plus y plus u x plus y plus u into u square x plus y plus u u square minus and this is y minus x this is none of them is x plus y plus u x plus y plus u multiply by u square but it is not possible u square is not possible right answer is only b okay what is given to you u tends to 0 as y tends to infinity u when x is y is 0 you will get as a sign of x so firstly we will check the condition when y is equal to 0 this is 1 a n is arbitrary b n is arbitrary but you can see this option can because we need a sign x but a n is arbitrary so if i consider a3 as 1 it it will be given as a sign 3x but we need a sign x this option cancel out a1 is 1 so if we open them it's a 1 it's a sign x but b n is a non zero but we need a b as a zero so b n must be zero so this option is cancel out a n is zero for all n greater than 1 b n is zero for all n greater than equal to 1 so this part will be zero y is zero 1 it is only 1 it is a 1 so this is a right answer and this is again the non answer because an are all non zero so the right answer is third okay now look at this one so i can find the value of u in terms of pq this is xp this is yq this is p square plus q square so what is that this is again a claret's equation so solution is ax ax plus by plus a square plus b square there is no initial condition so you can find the solution by using the here that's called as the singular solution so this is x plus 2a y plus 2b so a will be minus x by 2 b will be minus y by 2 so you can substitute here this is minus x square by 2 minus y square by 2 x square by 4 y square by 4 so if you take the lcm 
सो इट विल बी माइनस एक्स स्केयर प्लस वाई स्केयर ओवर फोर फाइन नाउ यू कैन सी इन द एक्स वाई प्लेन मीन्स यू जीरो वंस यू विल बी जीरो इट विल बी एक्स स्केयर प्लस वाई स्केयर जीरो इज इट एज इलिप्स नो फॉर द इलिप्स इट मस्ट बी हैव अ नॉन जीरो वैल्यू एक्स वाई जेड इलिप्स साइड सो इफ आई राइट हेयर एक्स स्केयर प्लस वाई स्केयर इज माइनस ऑफ फोर यू it must be ellipsoid only when this quantity must be positive when that means u must be less than 0 but there is no condition on the u that option is also cancel out u x it means y is equal to 0 when you substitute y as a 0 then u will be what is the equation of this x square is equal to minus 4 of u that's a parabola so you can see here hyperbola and the u y it means x is equal to 0 When you take x is equal to zero here, you will get u s, which is a parabola. But they are talking about the hyperbola, so the right answer is only c. Okay, now again this is the b square minus four ac because they are talking about the hyperbola parabola. So four y square minus four x square minus one of minus one. Four will be common. X square plus y square minus one. Fine. Now what is that? D is a surface consist of x square plus y square less than equal to one. D complement is the surface which is strictly greater than one. Now you can see when it is greater than one, so it means this number is also greater than zero. So it will be hyperbola. On the D complement, on the D when it is less than, it will be less than or equal to four. It means it is a ellipse. Now you can check about that. Parabola not be possible. Whenever it's a d complement, it's a hyperbola. That's true. Hyperbola that this cancel out. Parabola is a cancel out. Right option is only third is the right answer. Okay, now this is there. This is the wave equation. You can start from if you write here. C is my one, so x plus t, x minus t, plus of this, g of x comma t. Fine. Now that's a very simple target about that. That's a very very simple of this. You can write here of this. What is that? F one is F two. G one is G two. Only when x belongs to the minus one to one. That's a very simple. We can check about the options. When is a zero one? This value will be F one. This value will be F one. This value will be zero. Fine. G x x is my zero. So this value one one and zero it belongs to this. It means both are and corresponding to this also this is the right answer because f one and f two are same, g one and g two are same. In this case one comma one it is my f of two. This is my f of zero. But two does not belongs to the minus one comma one. What is the meaning of that? It means f one of two may or may not be equal to the here. So when they are not same it means This is a corresponding to f two. This is f one. This is a right, wrong answer. U one half and half. If you substitute half and half, f one. This is f zero, and this is g of half. All these three values belongs to this. So f and g both are same. This is the right answer. Zero comma two. When you substitute here, f of two, f of minus two. So since two does not belongs to this, it means f one is not equal to f two. So it means this option is cancel out. So A and C are the correct answers. Okay, now this is exponential. You can take this as a function of this, but this is not a constant, so you can't take that. Remember, whenever the coefficients are my constant, then only you can take as a function of the t. So now you can solve like this way: dy over x, du over g. Fine. Now, how you can solve them? You can uh, take the first two pair. Sorry, this is one. Coefficient of the p is my one. Now, if you solve this, x squared by two minus y is equal to c one. If I take first and the last, if I take first and the last, then you will get u as a c two. So, what is the meaning of that? I can return this function as phi of u. Now substitute u x comma zero is my here, so this is x by two is my phi is my e raised to power x. This is zero. This is phi of e raised to power x. 
so or what is the meaning of that if i write a it means if i consider e raised to power x as a so x will be my log of a so phi of a is log of a square by 2 so i can substitute here this is log of u square by 2 so i can find the value of the u from here i can take the lcm 2 this is my log of u whole square this so the u will be my square root is a plus minus plus minus of x square minus fine now you can check about 2 comma 1 so it's a plus minus 4 minus 2 it is plus minus of root 2 but it's a, a square cancel out so plus minus x square minus 1 e raised power 0 is 1 correct option 2 minus 2 1 so it's a plus 4 it's a minus of 2 it's a plus minus root 2 so it's a minus of 2 cal perfect so plus minus 4 minus 2 it's a e raised to power plus of 2 that's also the right answer so the b c d are my correct answers okay again these are the lagrange equations so you can start from here this is y over this and dz over x plus y of this so clearly say that when you solve the first two part it will give you this solution that means 1 over y minus 1 over x is equal to c1 fine second option is this is x plus y so if i write dx minus dy here and if i take x plus y as a cancel out so it will give you x minus y now if i integrate them it will give you the log x minus y log z into c or you can say x minus y over c2 fine this is c1 or you can write this function also as x minus y over x y is equal to c1 now you can check about the option x minus 1 over z 1 over x minus 1 is the arbitrary function that's correct option x minus y over z so how you can make them x minus y over z i can multiply by z and over this this is my c1 fine now you can see about how you can write x minus y over z x y over z that's also the function of this because i can return this function as x y over z of c1 that's the same of this x minus y over z x y over z is also the function of this from here you can see z is nothing but i can write this function z is z over x y is a function of 1 by x 1 by y this option also can say but this option is cancelled out because it must be the multiple of the x y so this option is cancelled okay fine now look at this options so that's again a very simple we can start with here firstly so it's a d squared minus of this e raised to power x plus of 60 i can take it separate e raised to power x 1 by here of this so how you can do so if i compare this by ax plus by a is my 0 sorry a is my 1 b is 0 if i substitute here 1 minus 0 of this so since it's a function of the t so i can take minus 1 by d square common so 1 minus of this so it is e raised to power x when you take this it's a second day it will be here now you can integrate by two times with respect to t so first integration is t square by 2 second is t cube by 6 so 6 will be cancel out so the right answer will be of if of this form now you can see e raised to power pi by 2 minus pi cube by 8 so minus pi cube by 8 this option cancel this option cancel now these are the two options are there now how you can solve them you can see if i this integrate if i just double integrate of this if i first integrate it will be t square by 2 plus 1 constant now if i again integrate them it will be t cube by 6 plus c1 of t plus of c2 fine so it means if i say by using these values it's a coefficient of t it will not be there so it will be 0 this is a plus of this so it is my plus it is a minus so this is the right 
okay now look at that so you have to find the value of this so i can return this number as d dash square of x t so i can return this as a constant outside 1 minus of this so i can this value as i can open this as a bernoulli so this higher power is neglected because it's a d square second time derivative will be zero so it is my x of t now what is that this is a d dash twice integration of t so what is that this is first integration is t square by 2 second integration is t cube by 6 that is a right answer now you can substitute it's a 2 it's a 27 Over six, three, nine is the right answer. Okay, now look at that. Again, this is the function and constants are coefficients are my constant. I can substitute this value here. So e raised to power i to x v double dash plus e raised to power i to x v dash plus two times derivative iota square. Fine. So it is v double dash. v double dash plus v dash minus of two v is equal to zero. So it is a quadratic m square plus m minus two is equal to zero. M is my minus of two plus one. So what is my v? C one e raised to power this plus C two e raised to power here. Fine. So I can substitute this. U will be my this into e raised to power. Now you can see about that. So Whether the solution is oscillatory, what is the meaning of the oscillatory? It will be formed in the form of the sine and cosine. But due to this exponential part here, it gives the sine and cosine form. That's the right answer. It is bounded, unbounded, and mod of this. So we can check about the mod of this. So what is the mod of this? Because this part is a one, so it is a mod of this quantity. E raised to power minus of two t plus e raised to power t. Whatever the coefficients are there. It is written as e raised to power minus of this plus e raised to power t. Now clearly says that as this value will decreases, this value increases. It is less than of e raised to power t. So it means this option is satisfied. Now when this option is satisfied, when you take t as infinity, this will goes to the infinity. So it means this is unbound. So the right answers are b, c, and d are my incorrect. Or correct answers. Okay, look at the last options are there. Last option, so you have to find this. Again, we can start from here. This is the p. This is uh, dt over t, and this is du over u plus one. Fine. Now that's very simple. Now if you solve this, what will happen? This will give you of uh, this. This is log x log of t. If you integrate them. If you solve this, it will give you of this. Fine. These are the two simple solution given to you. So, what is the meaning of that? I can return one solution in terms of the others. I can return this as phi of x comma t. Clear? Now we can check. We can see about this point. It means at this point, uh, or you can say, I, if I consider x is my x i, t is my x i square. And u is my x i square. So if I substitute here, this is my x, this is my t, and this is my u. So it is my x i square over x i square plus one. This is my x over t. So it is one over x i. So I can return this number as one over x i square is phi of one over x i. So what is my solution? Phi of a is one over a. Fine. So I can substitute this value. So t over u plus one is one over one plus. So I can take this and here. Fine. This is x by t. So I can return like of this form. So a square. So it is my a square x square x square. So one will be cancelled out. Can you find the value of the u from here? So the u will be t square. Plus x square. I can multiply them over t minus one. Fine. Now we can check about whether the sing, uh, solution is singular. Singular means it is not defined at zero zero. Clearly say that this term 
is goes to the infinity when t and x both are zero so solution is singular yes so this option is correct the given curve is not a characteristic again at the 0 comma 0 this solution is not defined because we find the same curve this solution is not defined so it is again the correct option there is no base correct what is the base characteristics these are my base characteristics these are the base character these two are my base characteristics there is no base characteristics in the x t curve that is x and t here what is the 0 comma 0 which is undefined so it means there is no base curve that's also satisfied the necessary condition for the uniqueness how you can check the uniqueness again x over x dash y that's a t over y dash and u plus 1 over u dash now at the point 0 0 at this point you can see what is x dash x is my xi over derivative 1 xi square over here so clearly say that this is cancel out this is xi this is xi by 2 at the point 0 0 both are same but does not hold at 0 0 so it means this option is also satisfied so the right answers is my all are my correct options of this problem so this is the way you can solve all these mcq problems in a very simple manner we will see the next lecture on the june 2011 to 23 of these partial differential equations i hope you can simply learn the various tricks in these lectures you can like share and subscribe my channel best of luck students happy learning